Amazon.com. Today we are going to be testing this ear splitting alarm with our little cat chocolate. It's just a, such a soft little. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not some kind of monster. Let's go ahead and pull this guy. Now, do keep in mind, this actually takes quite a bit of force to pull this out. So if I were to just kind of wag it kind of like this, let's say it's on some keychains, it's not going to pop out. It's not like this is magnetic or anything. So here we go. Three, two, one. There it is. And there is the demonstration of this e-alarm portable emergency alarm. Uh, now, of course, this is not necessarily any kind of substitute for a proper firearm, which in fact, I do carry one wherever I go. Check out those fantastic rounds right there. I'm not a violent person, even though I do in fact carry quite a bit with me wherever I go. But this is a viable deterrent uh, not necessarily to physically stop someone, but to use the metaphor cockroaches scatter when the lights turn on. And this is the same deal. Now, I do teach self-defense for, oh boy, quite a few years, many, many, many years. And uh, one thing that you continually find when you interview those who assault other people is uh, they don't want to be seen. They will drag the person away and uh, and do what they can to them. So if you have some way of screaming or yelling, uh, which of course uh, statistically can be ignored, but something like this definitely gets someone's attention. It's, it's the equivalent of a smoke alarm going off. And as you saw, technically you could cover it up, uh, but it, you know, if in fact an assailant is actually distracted with this and gives you the opportunity to run away, theoretically you could do that. Uh, now, one thing that I did want to test and kind of what you saw was how easy it is to actually put this back in. Now, it is designed so that this, these are on keys or maybe even a purse. And when you yank this down, you can throw it away from you uh, or put it in your pocket or, or, or just hold on to it really, really, really tightly. Uh, but the point is you don't want this section to uh, be secured by your assailant. Uh, so if in fact this was attached to you or your purse, the assailant would be, e be uh, able to grab it rather quickly. Now, now we're actually going to jump ahead right into the packaging itself uh, because, you know, this is just one. So I'm actually going to also be testing another one as well as another one. Uh, so if in fact this is... And that seems to work okay. Let's move on to our third and final one. Just to make sure they practice what they preach because your life may in fact be on the line with this thing. Now they do claim that the battery life goes uh, up to 30 minutes of an alarm or five years when it is not actually deployed. So technically I am drawing battery life every time I do pull this thing. Uh, they also say, I was trying to read the directions here, they say if you pull this, there should be a little slot, like a, like a coin slot that you can rotate and actually uh, change the batteries. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull this and see if we can find that slot to see if we can change the battery. Okay, so watch your ears. Here we go. Three, two, one. I actually try to cover this. So we're looking in there. And I don't see any kind of coin slot, unless, in fact, they mean put this in here. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. that that's weird. I can actually push that in with my knife and turn it off. Haha. <laughs> well, all right. That's bizarre. Let's go ahead and twist this and see if we can open it up. And yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's not really working. Quite honestly, that's a bit of a design flaw if, in fact, sorry. I'm gonna turn this off, oh, other way around. There we go. Now that might in fact be a bit of a design flaw. In order to change the battery, you actually have to deploy it. Now odds are that you're changing the battery because it's dead. So it's not gonna matter, matter whether or not this is deployed. But I sort of wish that they had like a little circle on the back right here that you could get a coin and just rotate it and just pull that lid out and then change the battery. But evidently you gotta pull this out and finagle how to split this apart in order to actually change the battery. 
Now this is according to the directions on the back. Maybe in fact I am reading it incorrectly, but it says to change batteries, pull the half plug circle the pin from the alarm and open by sliding a coin or other object inside the slit and then twist. Insert new batteries. Oh boy, this is really annoying if we have to actually pull the alarm in order to change this thing. Let's go ahead and try one more time, but this time with an actual coin as they recommend. All right, we are back with a coin. Let's go ahead and pull it. It's a good thing I have earplugs in or else this would be really annoying. One, two, three, pull. There's that. Let's go ahead. Oh, well, well, it turns off, which is nice, but oh, there it goes. All right, we're splitting it apart. And wow, that's obnoxious. Ah, oh, okay. This is probably the most annoying way ever to change a battery. All right, I can't get that. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. So there's the battery right there. This is really annoying. Oh, so, so that's how it works. There's, there's a little trigger right here that I'm pushing that turns it off. So that's how you change the battery is right there. It looks like a double stack of two little pancake battery. I'm gonna put this back together because I can't stand this sound. Wow, that's annoying. Maybe I can actually put this in and then put it back together so I don't have to deal with this anymore. Wow, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this review right here uh, because this is extremely annoying, but I hope that I just, ah! I hope that this is helpful in determining whether or not this personal alarm is right for you. So far, I would give it a five out of five stars in terms of how portable this is and how easy it is to deploy, but not that easy that, that you're going to have accidental deployments. And also, it's just one more step in regards to safety. And I highly recommend you, uh, you, you know, surrounding yourself with as many options as possible, even if it's just a personal alarm. It's better than nothing. Uh, I would deduct one star simply because you basically have to break this thing in order to change the battery. Uh, but again, the odds that you are opening this up, it means that you know the battery's already dead in the first place. But once you put those new batteries in, it's going to start alarming. Really obnoxious. I wish that part was more user-friendly. But that's it. Four out of five stars. My name's Bo Chevisu. I'll catch you later. All right, it's in, it's in. Quick, 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 turn it off. Turn the bloody thing off. Oh, okay. Whew, boy, what trouble we had with that. All right.